All right. Been, I don't know, a week or two. Uh, hope I'm not too rusty. Uh, like the recording is set up okay. Play. All right. I just got through the spot with the uh, uh, where you can fight the El Gigante or the Chainsaw Lady. Uh, I think I did him already. Went down and saved. Right now, I gotta I go this way and I uh, go through the chairlift. Uh, Get the key or whatever, and then uh, come back and go through that door. I think the barn fight against the uh, uh, Mendez uh, that's coming up soon. Right. Check. So we'll get rid of these guys first. I don't know if that'll matter. Pretty sure a lot more of them spawn or something. Nice that they only take one shot. This would be uh, quite a bother if you had to like kill them. But uh, at this point, I think in I, don't know, I think the Resident Evil Village uh, demo drops uh, soon. I don't think I'm gonna play the demo. I don't typically, uh, you know, it it looks good enough. Uh, so I'll probably just wait for the reviews and uh, if, it, uh, if it turns out to be you know, more or less as good as this. Uh, from what, from what I'm hearing, it's basically you know, similar gameplay to this and Resident Evil 7 kind of combined. Uh oh. Alright, good. Uh, I was worried that he was uh, coming from down there to get her. to him. Okay. 
Shakti. Do that, there's less chance of accidentally selling something I shouldn't. Yeah, so I think the game looks good enough that I'll you know I'll probably just wait for the reviews and as long as there's nothing really wrong with it. Uh, I might get it eventually. Uh, I don't know if that'll be, it probably won't be right away. Uh, I've got plenty of other games to play and I'm not in any hurry. Uh, I should probably do 7 soon anyways, because uh, I've got the VR version. Well, I'll probably just wait for it to oh, decrease in price. Once it's down to like 40 or 30 or whatever, I'll probably get it. What are you buying? What are you buying? Come back anytime. Really? I don't know if I should buy a first aid spray or. Okay, where? exactly where I am. I think the barn comes up soon, which if it does, uh, I probably should have bought some first aid sprays. Uh, Alright, I'll give it a try and when he kills me I'll uh, spray some try again. I always had trouble with this fight, even when I'm not uh, extremely rusty. You better stay outside. Ashley, go hide. Yeah. He's not dead, okay. Thought that was a bit easy.
hand grenades, the best idea, but. Was uh, easier than I remember anyway. Let's see if I missed anything. Alright, now I guess I just, uh, you just head all the way back, uh, open that door. Oh wait, there's the, there's the rock comes up soon. Welcome. I know there's a spot where, like, a truck comes Got down a hill. Excellent. What are you buying? Come back any time. Oh, uh, let me save. I guess the only other uh, I know, Resident Evil media I guess would be the movies. Uh, which, yeah, I've seen most of them. Uh, I remember seeing the first one like way, way back when it first came out. Uh, or at least like part of it. I think it was at like a cousin's house. You know, we were doing whatever and it was on. I watched like 20 minutes of it or whatever. But. Uh, I did eventually end up watching all of them through, uh, at least, I don't know, a bunch of them anyways. Uh, I thought the first one was pretty good, uh, but after that they get worse and worse, and I think like three or four movies in they were just unbearable. Uh, I think the more Alice they have, the worse they are. That's a pretty good uh, I don't know, measure of their quality. Uh, she's, you know, she's in the first one, but she's not really, like, uh, you know, that central to the plot or anything, but then after that it starts to become more and more about her and her, like, psychic powers and how she's a clone or whatever. Come back. If I was better at this, I would go back and fight the uh, El Gigantes to get more money and stuff. But, uh, that's what I always used to do, go through one way and then through the other way to do both. It uh, killed me too many times there. So. Yeah, like I thought the first, the first few movies were pretty good. Uh, they were decent enough uh, video game movies. If they were good for video game movies and, you know, fairly good for horror movies in general. Uh. I think I... Oh. I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know if Ashley, if I shot her or uh, she wandered into the 
Wait. Hey. Okay. Or she wandered into like the hitbox of the truck. Is it uh Yeah, I didn't know. I don't know that you could just shoot the driver. I was trying to. I thought you had to deal a certain amount of damage to the truck. I guess you can. Oh. Oh, they came out of nowhere. Probably should have retreated up the hill, I guess. Alright, I assumed enemies were gonna come from both sides. Uh, and so I was gonna try and fight my way back to the door to keep it at my back. Uh, was necessary. Yeah, so the later Resident Evil movies, like, uh, the last one I remember was when it was kind of like post-apocalypse and they're all, you know, driving around in the desert or whatever and Alice fries a bunch of crows with her psychic powers or whatever. It was, uh, it was just stupid at that point. Uh, I don't know if I watched any, uh, ones after that. Be something out here. I think this is where you can get. Uh, I think he sells most of the best weapons here, or like the, the last weapons, the the best shotgun or whatever. And, but I'm just gonna keep what I'm using. I do remember the 3D, like the CGI Resident Evil uh, movies being somewhat better. Uh, and there was a cool uh, PSVR thing where you see you go through it like from the viewpoint of a zombie, like you get bit or whatever, and then it's just you walking through, biting people and stuff, and then getting killed by Leon or whoever. Uh, that was kind of cool. Uh, speaking of Alice, I know the uh, the director. Uh, he did the recent Monster Hunter movie, uh, which I haven't seen. Um, he put her in it, of course, and apparently well ruined done. it. Uh, got some rare yeah, I don't know if I'll see it. I I won't probably go out of my way to see it, but if I happen to, uh, you know, if it's on Netflix or whatever. Stranger, is that all? <laughs> Uh, or I just tap into find it somewhere, some other way. I'll uh, might watch it. I did play Monster Hunter World. Uh, what are you buying? Well, you know, back when it came out. Is that all? Straight? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Not enough cash, stranger. What are you buying? Yeah, so there's like the best a handgun. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. I guess firepower is kind of the best to get because uh, that would like you know, increase the amount of damage I do for 
whatever many bullets. The others just let me use bullets faster, so. Cool. Probably should have got the shotgun. Firepower. What oh. are you buying? Ah, uh, I should have bought that. I should have got those instead of the uh, upgrades. What are you selling? Come back at a time. Bit of a mistake. Well, hopefully, uh, won't run into too much uh, stuff to pick up before the next merchant. I know there is a spot coming up in the castle where you get like the rocket launcher and there's a ton of other stuff. Uh... Checking for what we think. Spindle or something would have been helpful. Yeah, that guy just didn't notice. Oh, or he's coming running. Or nice when the rifle uh, is strong enough to one-shot them, uh, even in the chest. Okay, now I think somebody comes from behind now. Oh. Okay. Ashley has been killed here uh, many times. You've got like the mine thrower, you can just uh, you can get close enough to actually hit them with it from uh, down there.
Wait. Another uh, common mistake I think I used to make. Uh, shoot those two and then you just go running across the bridge with Ashley. And let her get shot by uh, those. That it'd stop a rifle bullet. Oh no, where did I leave her? Good. Getting lots of treasure. Should be able to uh, Wait. buy everything. I want to see the merchant. Shoot me out. Uh oh. But for some reason you could make Ashley operate that. I guess it's just, uh, I don't know, different ones. I don't know, speaking of video game movies, uh, yeah, well, there aren't that many good ones, of course, but, uh, I do really like Advent Children. I know that's not, uh, I know a lot of people don't like it, but, uh, uh I don't remember if I talked about it when I was, uh, playing Mystic Quest or not, but, uh, yeah, I just think it's, I don't know, it's just full of awesome Welcome. fight scenes, it's really nice looking CGI, even for its age. Things on what are you selling? Uh, and I didn't find it to be 
don't get fault to understand or anything. And I hadn't seen, I hadn't played uh, FF7 at the time when I had watched it, so. Is that all? Yeah, I know. I I liked it a lot. I watch it again uh, periodically. Thank you. I do kind of want the mine thrower, but uh, not until I've got the not enough cash. large not cash enough case. Cash. Stranger. What are you buying? And I really shouldn't do that. So, uh, patch case. What are you selling? Come back any time. Oh, I think the, uh, the broken butterfly is soon. Uh,. I guess I might keep it. Uh, I think there's a better magnum you can get, but uh, yeah, no normally I sell the broken butterfly and then use the better magnum, but I think I'll just use it. We just of course, there's a uh, Mario movie. I've seen that. Uh, not very good, of course. Um, I haven't actually seen the Sonic movie yet. Uh, I've heard it's pretty good. Uh, I just, I don't, I'm not a huge Sonic fan, anyways, so I haven't been really eager to see it or anything. Oh, I'm done. Still getting the, the knife and the gun confused. I don't think they just keep spawning until you swap the swords or anything, but uh, I guess just in case I'll uh, hurry it up. They, they spawned infinitely, you could, you know, farm gold or whatever uh, too easily. But I don't, I don't remember, I don't think there's anywhere where the enemies just spawn infinitely.
Oh, what other movies are there? Uh, the Detective Pikachu movie, of course. Uh, that was pretty good. Uh, I actually saw that in the theater, which I don't normally do, but... Yeah, it was good. I think that's kind of the important thing with, you know, video game movies. Just stick to, like, the source. Like, just, you know, make every character look as close as to the, uh, you know, the in-game characters as you can. Uh, just have it follow the story or get, like, the writer from the game to, you know, write a story or whatever. And, you know, just make it as close as possible. Uh... I came from that way. That way is locked, apparently. One thing that kind of keeps throwing me off is that they, uh, they just kind of play the generic, uh, talking quotes of bad guys, if there's, like, any alive. Even if none of them are in any, like, shape to be doing stuff. Like, they're all, like, getting shot on the ground and stuff. They shouldn't be chanting. Wait. So I think for the movies, just, you know, just make it complete fan service, because then, you know, I think it's like, it's a dice roll, basically, whether a movie's going to be good or not. Uh, you know, there's no way to just, you know, just make a good movie or whatever. But if you just fill it with, like, fan service, make it all completely accurate to the game and stuff, uh, you know, get costumes that look like, you know, a, a good cosplayer would make and, and so on then it's going to have, like, the value, you know, some amount of value just from that. Whereas, like, you know, too often they just completely change everything for, like, no reason at all. And, you know, then it gets to the point where it's like, okay, why, why even bother? Like, if you're doing, if you're just going to change everything, why are you making a movie based off of the game? I should have reloaded the first. Uh-oh. 
the uh, the Dragon Ball. That was another horrible one. Uh, where they just changed so much that it was like, okay, why even bother? Like, why not just make a generic martial arts movie if you're going to do that? Oh, I'm getting really low. The first Mortal Kombat movie, that one was pretty good. I remember it was... Uh, All the characters looked like they did. They all fought and killed each other and stuff. Uh... I remember around the same time there was a Dead or Alive movie and none of the characters even looked like the game at all. Like, you know, I hadn't played the game at, at the time, but, uh, uh, you know, I had seen pictures of it and stuff, of course, uh, and, you know, heard about it and stuff, but... Uh, I wasn't super familiar with it, and I didn't even pick up that the movie was based on the game. Like, I think, you know, my mom, I don't know, we, she was out, and, you know, we asked her if she could rent a movie, and she said, like, okay, well, this one's, you know, a martial arts movie, you'll like that, and got it, and, you know, I watched it, and I didn't even know that it was based off of the game, because it didn't even look like, you know, anything, you know, any kind of video game. Dropped into the hole here, don't I? I think the merchant is, uh... I'm uh, a bit confused. I guess I go through there and then I meet him. There's a treasure. Ooh, that was worth it. second split the recording all right that's locked I go back. I know uh, some of these have uh, money behind them.
I wonder if they have any kind of uh, check on the knife, or you know, if the knife has like a slightly smaller hitbox for for Ashley. Because uh, I know you can sometimes hit like uh, you know barrels and stuff that are way off to the side, but you don't seem to hit Ashley unless you're really aiming for her. Was enemies that popped out there. Wait. Uh, keep her out of the way. Some kind of weapon we all would use. This guy's got some cool uh, death things where he can uh, I think he can decapitate Leon and shove his claw through Leon's head and stuff. Uh, hopefully we don't get a chance. Keep getting the the knife and the gun mixed up. It's it's opposite of what it was when I had the other controller. Although it is back to what it would would have been on the actual uh, GameCube. But I had it reversed there at the start, and then I got used to the the wrong way, and now I'm back to the right way and uh, getting confused again. Use some shotgun here. Oh, it was nice.
Wait. We got a list here of the other, uh, I don't know, other video game movies. Uh, I don't think I've seen the Street Fighter movie. I know they're fairly infamous. Uh, I've seen a bunch of the Tomb Raider movies. I've never actually played any Tomb Raider games. Uh, I probably should be talking about this. Cool if you could play through the single player mode uh, as the mercenaries characters. They'd have different inventories and their different abilities. Uh, you can use hunks and neck break. Actually, I think there's some downstairs. Yeah, I think I remember apparently as part of the dynamic difficulty, uh, if you're doing well, there are crossbow guys up there uh, on the left and the right. I'm not doing well though, so I need to respawn.
follow me. I used that by accident. Wait. Follow me. I dropped it with the ceiling. I think they drop down center. Mud hole in the ceiling. Anyways, uh, what was I talking about? The uh, other Tomb Raider games. Yeah, I've never played any of the games, and they just don't look at all interesting. I, you know, I don't care for linear story-based games with uh, quick time events and whatever on them. Uh, although I guess technically kind is what this is, but uh, still, I usually avoid them. Nothing but book here.
so yeah, I have no interest in playing them. Uh, but I have seen, I think, most of the movies. And, uh, they aren't bad. They aren't horrible, but uh, none of them were particularly good. Uh, I think I recently watched the one of the newer ones, uh, 2019 or whatever. Uh, yeah, it wasn't that good either. Like, what else is there? Oh, uh, yeah, Resident Evil's. I uh, talked about them. Like, Dead or Alive. Hitman, I haven't seen that. I'm, I haven't really played too many of the Hitman games, though, so. Uh, I don't really care to see it. Look, there's a crank over there. I did play one of the Hitman games. Uh, I think it was like Blood Money or something. Uh, it was a PC re-release of uh, one of the PS2 games or whatever. Uh, I thought it was pretty good, and I was kind of interested in playing the like the newer ones, uh, you know, the remakes or whatever, the one, two, and three that just came out. Uh, but it's just it's the always online DRM. That's I'm just not gonna do that. So, there's, you know, my thing with that is like, I don't. Know, I'm pretty sure I've said it before, but like, I've got. There's so many games I want to play that, you know, even if I were to win the lottery and decide to spend the rest of my life just retire and just play video games 24/7, and at the same time, a new game never came out. Like there was no new games. I was just playing. You know, I was just playing the games I already have. I still would not run out of games to play. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, like, if a game comes out and, you know, it's got always online DRM or whatever, then I'm just like, okay, you know, fine, whatever. It, it doesn't exist, basically. As far as I'm concerned, like I don't need to, you know, uh, compromise or anything with, uh, you know, playing through the game and, uh, you know, getting annoyed constantly by DRM or whatever. So whenever a game comes out, it's got always online DRM or, you know, or it's like a, an Android or iOS game or whatever, or Apple TV or whatever, but I'm just like, okay, you know, I'll just ignore it. it you know, that used to really bother me, but, uh, you know, games that I want to play that, uh, that don't have any of that stuff are coming out faster than I can play them anyways, so... Uh, I don't need to worry about them. Uh, nice little headshot. You know, if they ever remove that and let you just play offline, then I'll play it. Because it does look pretty interesting, but, you know, with it, I just, you know, it just kills the interest in it. Same thing with like, you know, the consoles. They're I think they're heading towards always online digital only. Like I'm you know, I would not be surprised if the Oh no, what Okay, good. I thought she was getting carried away. You know, I wouldn't be at all surprised if the PS6 was uh digital only and always online. Or at least, you know, you know, you gotta connect it every you know, forty eight hours or it stops working and uh, you know, every AAA game on it is some, uh, you know, cloud-based live service uh, subscription thing or whatever. Uh, like, that wouldn't surprise me at all, but 
you know, if that happens, I'll just be like, okay, whatever, you know, AAA gaming's dead. Uh, you know, I've got a list long enough to last me, you know, five lifetimes of games I want to play, so whatever. Why is it still, uh... Know why it's still uh, playing the creepy music? Now, actually, you. Uh, the shooting range is uh, coming up. Yeah, I may do the shooting range, but just off camera because it will take a while because uh, I'm pretty bad at this. But it would be good to do it because I think you do get a fairly large amount of money for doing it. Uh, right, when I go to the end of the hall there, uh, Ashley gets kidnapped by a door. Welcome! Got some rare... What are you selling? Oh, come yeah, back. Buying something. Oh. One short. What are you I remember selling? you get a lot of those later. I think it's the big uh, beast bug enemies. Whatever they drop is tons of them. Stranger? Is that all? You end up with like ten of each. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Oh, what are you buying? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. All right. I guess I should get the mime thrower. Oh. Not only will you need cash. Does take a lot of inventory. <laughs> Thank you. Is that all strange? Guess I gotta get this. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. I'll save the capacity upgrades for the mine thrower for when I'm out of ammo. I think it is fairly rare. Is that all strange? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, What are you buying? What are you selling? Wait, is this? just cut the recording here and I'm gonna try doing some of this and then we quit for the day